This morning, graphic video from a body camera shows the deadly shooting of an unarmed black man in Oklahoma. Police brought in by the Tulsa County Sheriff's Department are investigating. They say an unpaid volunteer reserve deputy meant to use a taser, but instead fired his gun. Elaine Cajano of our digital network CBSN is here with why police filed no charges. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. When convicted felon Eric Harris bolted from an undercover drugs and guns operation, he resisted arrest. It was during the struggle that Reserve Deputy Robert Bates, a retired cop and insurance executive who was part of the Violent Crimes Task Force that day, made the fatal error. <laughs> Roll on your stomach. Now. From the moment the shot was fired, it was clear that Robert Bates made a mistake. Sorry, man. Sorry. The 73-year-old Tulsa County Reserve Deputy said he was sorry after he shot Eric Courtney Harris. Oh, he shot me. He shot me. Tulsa police say Bates intended to tase Harris, but grabbed his gun instead of his taser because of a stress-related policing phenomenon called slips and capture, when the brain tells the body to do one thing but does something else. Reserve Deputy Bates did not commit a crime. Reserve Deputy Bates was a victim, a true victim, of slips and capture. The April 2nd arrest was recorded on multiple cameras. It was a sting operation targeting illegal guns. It's a Luger. It's a Luger. German Luger. Tulsa police say Harris attempted to sell a gun to an undercover officer. But when police vehicles pulled up, Harris ran. Stop right here. An officer wearing a body camera chased down and tackled Harris, and other officers joined the struggle. Harris was handcuffed after he had been shot. He complained he couldn't breathe. Please, my breath. My breath. Harris was treated at the scene by firefighters, but died at the hospital. In a statement provided to CBS News, an attorney for the Harris family said, perhaps the most disturbing aspect of all of this is the inhumane and malicious treatment of Eric after he was shot. Tulsa police placed Bates on administrative leave and have filed no charges against him. An investigation of the incident will be submitted to the Tulsa County District Attorney's Office for a full review. The Tulsa County Sheriff's Office has also asked the FBI to conduct an independent assessment which could look into potential civil rights violations. Gail? Elaine, thank you.